so welcome back students the next uh, to the next method of preparation of alkynes so in the previous video we have watched the industrial method in that we have seen industrial method as well as lab method right i've picked up you know old method and new method so please practice those reaction students i think you're following me uh, every day unless until you study on the daily basis organic chemistry it looks easy when you understand but you need to study on daily basis then only it will become you know you will just get grip on the subject right so today the topic which i'm going to teach you is alkyl substitution in alkynes that means what am i going to do i'm going to prepare higher alkynes right so higher alkynes i'll be preparing from lower alkynes so this is the concept basic concept is preparation from higher preparation of higher alkynes from lower alkynes done now what are we going to do basically suppose so let us uh, see one mechanism then go back to the reactions now i have an alkyne right now this alkyne now i'm going to treat it with either any in h2 or sodium this is sodium amide or this is any metal then what happens this is the terminal uh, hydrogen isn't it right so this is replaced by sodium so what do we get r c triple bond c and this is minus and this is na plus now apart from that we have nh3 or half hydrogen which is evolved out that. now this a particular thing this is there isn't it now i'm going to take this i'm just showing you the mechanism so that we can further take you to the examples now here to this particular uh, thing we are going to add a primary alkyl halide okay primary alkyl halide so i'm going to take primary right so alkyl group this is primary this is ch2x isn't it right the c minus attacks this bond then what happens when this attacks there's a cleavage of the bond here isn't it this becomes r c uh, and your triple bond c ch2 r and x minus is out so which type of mechanism is that you have both the uh, there are two reactant molecules participating so this is nothing but sn2 it is following sn2 mechanism isn't it right so now let us uh, start with the concept so please understand first this is the formation of uh, the, what is this the, what is the name of this compound it is called now because there are two carbons isn't it now i name this compound as sodium ethanide okay sodium ethanide let us write that it is sodium here i have taken r, r generally if i if i don't have r if there only there's only one hydrogen then i can call it a sodium ethanide so now there is no hydrogen specifically so i'm going to write sodium alkanide okay sodium alkanide done right now with this mechanism let us take certain examples and see first let me take this fresh page suppose if i take acetylene right so i am taking acetylene now i'm going to let me write this as example one what am i going to do i'm going to introduce any nh2 sodium amide in the presence of liquid ammonia okay so this what at minus 33 degree centigrade then what happens this hydrogen is replaced by the sodium i'm going to get sodium and this is na right then now what we say we just said uh, this particular thing after sodium attacks this what do we get we get name of this is sodium ethanide now what else is left out this is attacked and this hydrogen is yes accepted by this and we get ammonia now so now suppose if i take the same sodium acid uh, acetylide or ethanide so this is highly basic isn't it isn't it so this competes elimination uh, uh, in highly basic part so it competes elimination and you know that elimination part is more than this so the products of such elimination reactions are we very well know are an alkene from the alkyl halide and an alkyne that is what is the concept now what happens just to this acetylide i'm going to introduce c4 h9 br right fine so what is the c4 it is nothing but butyl bromide now what happens just see here observe carefully the product form is ch3 ch2 taken thrice c triple bond ch 
so the answer is 1 hexane 3 4 5 6 6 carbons so triple bond in the first position 1 hexane fine so here how many did we have we have 1 2 plus 4 6 6 so this is how higher alkynes are prepared from lower alkynes that is acetylene right fine suppose if i have let me see one more if i have to take the next example like the same thing let me introduce one more alkyl halide now again i'm taking let me take this as example two here i am adding the same thing again two sodium amides then liquid ammonia then minus 30 30 recipient and the same thing further i'm going to add C3H7Br. What is C3H7Br? It is propyl bromide. So, 2 moles. Now, finally, when I add, this is 3, this is 4, this is 5. But how, what did I do? I have taken 2 moles here. Isn't it? 2 I have taken. That means it is. it becomes double. It becomes 3 to the 6. Isn't it? 3 to the 6 and 7 to 8. That means I will get octine. So, what is the product form? CH3, CH2, CH2, C. CH2, C triple bond C CH2 CH2 CH3 let us count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 yes so which octet is this this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 this is 6 this is 7 8 so this is 4 octet let us come back and see what did we how do we get here I have 2 lower alkynes 2 fine after that it's going to form sodium acetylide or ethanide. Then I've introduced this. This is propyl bromide. But I've introduced two moles of this. Which comes 3 to the 6. 6 plus 2, 7, 8. This is completely uh, the whole thing comes out. And this forms. And uh, NABR is already there. NABR that is already there. But I'm showing you the conversion of lower alkynes to higher alkynes. So, but remember one thing that is highly basic. Acetylide is highly basic. So, it will prefer elimination reaction. That's the reason we are getting the products what we have seen. So, this is a reaction with uh, sodium amide uh, students. So, if your teacher is giving you any example, like suppose if your teacher is giving you any other uh, lower alkyne, just take the this, whichever chain it is you are adding combine the whole thing and write the product so this is the reaction thank you for watching students let me meet you again with the next preparation of alkyne that is the heliform reaction